Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. All I can say right now is holy crap. I'm going to show a short clip. Elon Musk in the New York Times is having a book summit or whatever it is there. And this is a clip from that talking about how advertisers are threatening Elon Musk with his free speech position to leave his platform, thereby putting Twitter out of business. I got to tell you, honestly, this guy's got a huge, huge set of balls. It, it's amazing to me. I am so, I am so happy and stunned all at once. Finally, finally. Usually very rich people try to take the safe route. Not Elon. This is amazing. Let's uh, let's check out the clip. Now here's the clip here. Let's uh, let's check it out. I'll commentate along the way. Obviously, you know that there's a public perception that, and, and you're clarifying this now. Um, but there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That there, this had been said online. There was all of the criticism. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger I hope today. they stop. You hope. Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. There it is. And unbelievable. And I don't mean that in a bad way. There's a huge war going on for censorship, social media, uh, cable news, all of it. And Elon Musk is the tip of the spear. Him getting Twitter has put the progressives in such a tizzy. Good for him. All I can say to him is, is this. You know what? I'll tell you the truth. I don't get any money for this. I may pay the $8 a month for uh, Twitter premium. Just as a show of support for Elon Musk. What a set of coolions. I got to tell you, unbelievable. And look what he says if Twitter does go under because of it. First, I want to get the reaction. Did you see how stunned the crowd is? Stunned in the silence. Even the interviewer, who's a lefty nut bar anyway, is stunned. But go fuck yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob. If you're in the audience. Well, well, let me ask you then. That's how I feel. Don't about, advertise. How do you think then about the economics of, of X? If, 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 if part of the underlying model, at least today, and maybe it needs to shift, maybe the answer is it needs to shift away from advertising. Um, if, if you believe that this is the one part of your business where you will be beholden to those who... Uh, have this view. He's struggling to know what to say because finally, finally, someone in a position of authority, power, and money made the richest man in the world just told advertisers to go F themselves because he will not put censorship on his platform, X, formerly Twitter. I, I gave him another round of applause. <laughs> Now, there's not much left to the clip, but what he says towards the end, this is the really big deal. The really big deal. G what do you do? F Y. I, I understand that, but there's a reality too. <laughs> right? Yes. No, no. It, it, I, I mean, Linda no, Yaccarino's right here, and she's uh, got to sell uh, advertising. Uh, absolutely. So, um, no, no, totally. So, so what, no, no, actually, what, what this advertising boycott is, uh, is, is going to do, it's, it's going to kill the company. Now, he knows that. He knows that. That's why I think it's important for guys like me to get the $8 a month premium to help him along through this time. But look what he's going to do. As the company goes down because these advertisers want censorship. Look at his approach. Unlike most people, 
that just kowtow and put their heads down, and they're all cowards, not Elon Musk. Look what he says he's going to do if that happens. And you think that that... Uh, I, but, and the whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company, and we will document it in great detail. And there you have it. You want to play stupid games? Win stupid prizes. You want to pull your advertising out? because of censorship that I won't put on my platform, we're going to call you out. And don't think for a minute that these international, huge corporations, multinational corporations, when word gets out, he'll document it. He'll document every email, every text, everything from these companies and call them out and We'll say it for all intents and purposes, call a boycott against them. This guy's got a set on him. I am so happy. Give him another round of applause. <laughs> He's calling them out. You want to play what they used to say, uh, the mad theory on nuclear weapons, mutual assured destruction? Okay, let's go for it. You launch your nukes, which is pulling out advertising, and I'll launch my nukes showing that how you guys want censorship and people will boycott your products and your companies. Absolutely. Unbelievably. This is awesome. But there are, those advertisers, I imagine, are going to say, they're going to say, we didn't kill the company. Oh, yeah? They're going to say... Tell it to, tell it to Earth. But they're going to say, that, they're going to say, Elon, that you killed the company because you said these things and that they were inappropriate things and they didn't feel comfortable on the platform, right? That's, see, that's what they're going to say. And let's see how Earth responds to that. Let's see how Earth responds to that. He's absolutely right. We'll see how Earth responds. You guys keep playing your stupid games. Now you're going to win stupid prizes. Mutual assured destruction. This guy knows what he's doing. He's not playing four-dimensional chess and I'm a chess player. He's playing fifth dimensional chess you notice it a little bit there he was stuttering his brain is going constantly a hundred miles an hour all day every day it's an amazing feat he even said in an interview i saw on a podcast that you wouldn't want to be me my brain is going a hundred miles an hour all day every day it, it's tough to organize things but i'll tell you what go f yourself that's going to be the new slogan now, right up there with Let's Go Brandon, G-F-Y, go F yourself. That's going to be the new thing. That's going to be the new cultural saying, right up there, like I said, with Let's Go Brandon. I got to tell you, I think this is awesome. And I hope and I pray as the money stops flowing to X, formerly Twitter, that guys like Tim Poole, that guaranteed 250000 advertising and many others, this is the alternative economy that they talk about. You want to go against Musk, you have to be out of your mind. Out of your mind. He is not going to censor things. Sometimes things are said that are inappropriate. That's true. Welcome to the world. Like the saying goes, grow up and get a helmet. Life is tough. So I got to tell you, honestly, good for you, Elon. I hope you succeed. Dig in. Do not let these people get to you. I mean, of all the people they want to go to war with, Elon Musk, are you stupid? He has the most viewed social media account in the world. It's amazing to me. He can organize a boycott where hundreds of millions, if not billions of people will go against these companies. And we will document what they did to Twitter, now acts in detail, just like the Twitter files. Remember all the things that he dug up? Good for you. Let's see how this plays out. So the new thing is going to be GFY. Uh, you know, let's... Go Brandon, L-G-B is going to be G-F-Y. A cultural phenomenon has just started. 
We'll see how far it goes. Again, my congratulations to you, Elon. I'm going to get a premium subscription here soon, just in support of you. And I hope I don't have a huge channel, but if people share this video, hoping and praying that we can get a thousand people, that would be a lot for a little channel like mine. And say why when you go to sign up, why you're doing it. We're at war, folks, and one side is going to win. Which side is up to you? Until the next time, goodbye and good luck.